historically, who has the most titties? Good morning. Happy Sunday. I've been awake for like an hour or so now, but I have just been laying in bed trying to get the nerve to get up. It just so happens that shark week is happening and the cramps are real people. So even if you dress like a sea snake, you still get got. Ooh. But I don't know. I kind of just felt like daily vlogging today it might be boring. It might be interesting to you. I like watching people's daily vlogs, like hanging out for the day, that kind of thing. So this is that. We got Chetty here. Chetty! So the very first thing that I do when I get out of bed is I take my supplement regime. That's right, I now take a supplement regime. For the past three weeks, I have been taking vitamin D and fish oil. As you guys know, <laughs> I have not been doing too hot in the mental health department recently. About a month ago was the peak of this when I felt like I was absolutely losing it, like I couldn't cope in everyday life. I was having trouble doing daily tasks. I was just, you know, going through it. So at that time I was researching absolutely anything and everything that could help me. I had made a doctor appointment, but it was a couple weeks out and I wanted to be proactive and try to find something sooner. So I stumbled across a couple of articles saying that fish oil and vitamin D help improve mood and they help support mental health and brain function. Three weeks later, I was up here before with my level of stress and anxiety and not being able to cope and now I'm somewhere down here. So obviously I can't 100% attribute that to the supplements. It's really hard to know for sure if, if I hadn't taken anything, if my stress levels would have just gone down naturally because things like that tend to come in waves. But that being said, I'm not sponsored by these brands. I'm not a medical professional. I don't know. I'm just a person who read an article and decided to try it out because they were suffering. <laughs> but anyways, let's get this day started. Let's be productive. I'm thinking a Sunday morning yoga sesh. When you were playing that record, what were you thinking? You want to know what I was really craving for breakfast today? I was craving an entire box of Kraft mac and cheese, plus adding cheddar cheese to that after it's done because chef's kiss. Then some tang, like 90s tang, like that crazy orange drink that they claimed astronauts drink, and also like those cheddar and sour cream baked delays. So really, I think I was just craving the color orange. That's what I kind of don't get about intuitive eating because my intuition is a savage. If I didn't rein it in, if I didn't control it to some degree, it would be appalling on so many levels. So I think that intuitive eating is something you kind of graduate into after you address some problems. You know what I mean? <laughs> For me anyway, that's how I feel. Because if I listen to my intuition, this is going to become a weight gain channel real quick. But I get the philosophy behind it and like why it's important to give your body what it needs. But also, I don't know, I'm a grown ass adult woman, but like around a cake, I'm like an unchaperoned toddler. I need to control myself. It's kind of strange because this feels like Weight Loss Journey 2.0. Like it's not like we restarted or anything. It does feel different. It feels like a second iteration. It feels like 
that before was the beta version and now we're moving on to something more advanced. And maybe that's not true, but everything just feels like really fresh and new now. And like for example, cooking. I'm getting really interested into cooking and developing recipes, changing and tweaking, tweaking recipes to make them a little bit more healthy. But anyway, let's take care of this frizzy mess and run some errands and be productive members of society. Okay, we are at the local Target because I have to return a sports bra that does not fit. Your girl needs a high impact sports bra. I just do. You would think it would be easy to find like a plus sized sports bra that's high impact because like historically who has the most titties? It's the girl of the larger variety. Am I right or am I right? I went to Target and there was only one option. I was like, okay, well this, this is it then. But it was not it. It had like a front zip action and it would not zip. So we're gonna go and return that sports bra. We're gonna look somewhere else. I already checked out Kohl's. Kohl's had nothing but like low impact for plus size women. In what world does this make sense? We're already paying the fat tax for like two extra inches of fabric. Just please. I just want to feel secure. Anyway, rant over. Let's go return this and maybe look at some like Halloween stuff because it's spooky season. <sighs> My favorite season and it's such a nice day today. I just want to be out and about. I have like no one to do anything with and... Do you want to spend the afternoon with me? You want to be my friend? <laughs> my life is so sad. <laughs> we got a mask up. You know what? I really don't mind wearing the masks because like my social anxiety is living for it. It feels like going into places incognito mode. I feel like people can't recognize me even though like that's completely not true. But I feel just hidden from the world. Yeah, enough chit chat. Let's go. Well, this would go up just every cranny. Mustard yellow, Smokey the Bear hat, yes. <gasps> Guinea pig socks, dinosaur stickers. I really shouldn't have money. <laughs> also, I learned that Frida is a savage. And I look like an unbaked roll. <laughs> Damn. Should I be throwing a Shark Week party? Totally not Jossum. We are mukbanging, people. Um, mukbanging. <laughs> that sounds bad. Woo! We are out on the town. We are sitting here in our car. We have hand sanitized our hands because we literally have a condition where we have to touch everything in the store, even though there is a global pandemic. But I went to McAllister's and I got the half salad, half sandwich situation. I got their Savannah chop salad, which looks really good. Tons of like goodies in that. Balsamic vinaigrette. And then we got something like a little bit out of character. I got a half French dip. I've never tried a French dip before. I don't know if I like them, but my uterus wants all the carbs and the baguette looked impeccable. That, <laughs> that's my sole reasoning for why I got this. And then we got like a little pickle action going on on the side in this little baggie. Some au jus. I'm trying to figure out how I'm not gonna make a mess. And then for dessert, I thought that we would give these a try. I've been seeing these everywhere. They only have three grams of sugar each. So I was like, hmm. Typically I don't like things with like sugar alternatives in them. So I'm gonna see. We're gonna learn today. So good. Okay, what do you think the likelihood is that I'm going to spill this au jus sauce all over my pants? Jesus, take the wheel. Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh. I don't know. I don't think the au jus is necessary. It kind of just tastes like nothing. It just makes your sandwich more soggy. What did I do with that lid? Ooh, we thought we were gonna just have to have an open container of au jus in our midst. Okay. 
Yeah, this is unnecessary. It's, it just really is. The clothes at Target were so cute. When I lose a little bit more weight, I wanna do like a clothes shopping video and like figure out my style. Cause like right now, I do not have a style. Unless the style is just t-shirts. That's all I pretty much wear. It'd be kind of silly for me to invest in a new wardrobe right now because A, I'm still in the process of losing weight. So I don't wanna keep investing a lot in my wardrobe. Like maybe I'll like hit up some thrift stores and stuff and find some cheaper clothes because I just need transition clothes until I'm in my like set body. You know what I mean? And two, I'm not going into the office. If I go in at all, it's like once a week. Typically, it's like business casual kind of vibe. But right now, there's no rules. So it's jeans. You know what I mean? Like there's no one enforcing rules. And also in my personal life, I'm not really going anywhere, meeting anyone new. <laughs> Where was I in my list? Oh, I'm not going out anywhere and doing like social things. It's not like I have to get dressed up or anything. In three, and C. I don't, <laughs> I think I did both letters and numbers. Um, three, my clothes now are just starting to fit again. I was around 2.30 when I bought a lot of the stuff that I wear to work. And then I like ballooned up to 2.50 real quick. So things were getting tight. Like I was to the point where HR was gonna have to reach out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like on the brink of being inappropriate. But like, you know, you get into denial <laughs> about things. Yeah, so I'm in the point where those clothes are just starting to fit again. It would just be pointless right now. And I keep trying to say that to myself, but Target is just so aesthetically pleasing and all the fall colors. Ooh, it was so cute. But I do really think it'd be fun to do a video like that where I try on different styles, find my aesthetic. Cause like Princess Diaries or like anything with like a transformation sequence. Queen, yes, that's everything. I live for that part in movies. So it'd be awesome to do like a real life one. You know what I mean? But we're not there yet. Okay, now for this. I'm super excited about these. I have been looking for these all over. So I got the Sour Patch Kids or the Sour Blast Buddies because I'm sure that Smart Sweets isn't trying to catch a case if you know what I mean. And then I got some peach rings. We're gonna go into the peach ring situation first. Oh, these are small and adorable. The peach rings are pretty good. There's no weird aftertaste with them either, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, I'm super excited about these because Sour Patch Kids are like the best candy ever. Well, that's a lie, but... These ones aren't bad either. They're not as sour as I would like. And these ones kind of have a funny aftertaste, but not terrible. It's definitely not like artificial sweeteners. It says that this is al allulose is what's sweetening this. And it's a non-artificial sweetener that is found in foods like raisins and figs. Now we continue our quest to find a high impact sports bra. I don't know if someone put a cake in the workout section to tempt someone else, or maybe they left it here and decided to make a change in their own life. But regardless, why is finding cake in inappropriate places a recurring theme on this channel? Okay, so they had a high impact sports bra at Walmart. Again, only one option, and there are like none in my size. They're all like double and triple D, <laughs> but at least closer to my wheelhouse. So let's get one and try it. This is the new sports bra. I don't find it cute at all. And it has pads that you cannot remove. But that's all we got. They aren't moving anywhere. <laughs> Me and my mom are out here doing our evening walk. She's out here working on her fitness, representing with the officially unofficial 5K merch. Just to let you guys know, we're doing a 5K the third week in October. That's October 18th to 24th. We're raising money for World Central Kitchen. 100% of the profits from the shirts go in support of World Central Kitchen. I'll link all the information below in the description. <laughs> and I can't talk about a breath. <laughs> to get some b-roll
So for dinner, we're just having a minestrone soup moment. I absolutely love the minestrone soup from Olive Garden, so I found a recipe online mimicking that. I will link it in the description if you're interested in checking it out. It's super easy and just requires like dumping a bunch of stuff in a pot, which I am all about. And it tastes just so good and it's definitely something like you can make a huge batch of and freeze some of to have as a really quick go-to meal if you're if you don't have time to cook or something you just unthought that and that's what I plan on doing so yeah Alright guys, solid day of activities, productive day of weight loss, especially for a shark week day. I'm going to reward myself by laying in bed and eating a banana and watching Parks and Rec. Did you know that Netflix is taking Parks and Rec off of their catalog of shows October 1st? It might be the saddest thing that happened all 2020. I'm just kidding. I don't know what I'm going to watch for my comfort show anymore. The Office, like an uncultured swine. I'm just kidding, The Office is great. I just... Parks and Rec is better. IMO. But anyway, now that I've offended everyone here, <laughs> I think this is a good point to uh, <laughs> thank you for watching. If you want to support the struggle, you are always welcome to subscribe and hit that notification bell. You know, no one's stopping you. The like button is also there. <laughs> Just, uh, anyways, but like, thank you so much. And I will see you on the next one, which may or may not be a jump rope challenge video.